Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm coming to you today live from day three on the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress, uh, and I'm joined by Alejandro uh, Estua, uh, Chief Revenue Officer of Keo Data Centers. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me, Barb. Yeah, and we're here bright and early. It's been a busy, busy week. Uh, how's it been for you? So oh, far? yeah, very nice. Uh, this first time that uh, in our case, we participate in this event. Yeah. So it's very nice. I'm hoping that this uh, help us out uh, in, in the following years. But thank you very much. Yeah. Very good event. And I'm sure that you've had some great meetings because I know that um, on the first day of the event, I, I noticed some big news uh, was published of yours. Uh, as as part of the you know the daily news that that comes out at, at Data Cloud, you announced some expansion in Spain. Can you yeah. tell us about that? Yes, yes, of course. So so we have a presence in Spain. We already had a data center uh, in in Murcia, in Spain, and right now we're as we speak, we're building one in Valencia. Uh, it's going to be a data center that has already. Uh, capabilities for expansion at some point in time if some customer needs some additional uh, uh, capabilities or, or collocation needs. And in, in, in an overall basis, we're very excited about that, that particular uh, expansion that we're having in, in Spain. And that's just Spain. I mean, there's more expansion on the horizon for you, I know, into LATAM, for example, and, and more. Tell yeah, us. yeah. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, so... Yeah. Currently, we have been expanding. Uh, we're a company that was born specifically in Mexico. We're expanding in, in Mexico right now. Uh, in Mexico, in some areas, has been very getting gaining a lot of traction. Uh, right now, in particular, we have uh, over 100 megawatts uh, of, of power capacity. So right now, we have the land we have the 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 additional the power that is right now the mm -hmm. the, the the most difficult uh, commodity to get mm -hmm. and uh, we're ready to 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 receive and to start uh, uh, receiving a lot of customers some of them will be expanding so right now for example in Querétaro Querétaro is a city that it's uh, 200 kilometers up north from Mexico City. And let's say that, obviously, in a much smaller scale, it would be like the Ashburn, Virginia, a few years back, right. gaining a lot of traction there. Uh, we're seeing lots of customers, lots of uh, availability zones from the public clouds getting there. And we have a lot of power there that we can be able, uh, we, we're planning to to host many of, of, of these customers as much as possible. We're expanding also all over Mexico. On top of that, uh, we're starting to increase our capacity in Central America and very important to mention Colombia. Right. Colombia, as, uh, as the country we just bought, we acquired a data center in Bogota in an area called Zona Franca. Uh, we just acquired it. It's a 12 megawatt total uh, IT capacity. And uh, well, we're going to be next week uh, receiving some customers yeah. and ready to go. There's, this is a lot, <laughs> a lot yeah. of great expansion news. And it's great to hear that you have, uh, you know, ca capacity uh, planned land, as you said, and, and power. I mean, that's been such a big topic this week, you know, just the the need for uh, power and the and just knowing that you have that and and people can be uh, assured of that is, is important. Um, I, I know speaking of Mexico, I, I understand you're a founding partner of the Mexican Data Center Association. How do, what does that mean for the industry? And, you know, how, you, how does your involvement help the industry? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Barb. So, well, yeah, we, we as, as we are the largest uh, data center operator in, in Mexico, we're hosting pretty much uh, about two thirds of the, of the industry. We have a very large ecosystem there. We want to ensure to work together in a, in a very collaborative way with, with the rest of the, of the, of the competitors with the, as an industry. Because I think that we, we need to have certain initiatives in order to, to ensure that uh, we're very synchronized in general, uh, uh, internal, in, in terms also as well of the initiatives of the, of, of the eco-friendly 
uh, initiatives all over. Data centers are, are large consumers of power. We want to ensure that we're very well synchronized working with the rest of the of the of the companies among different kind of initiatives in general, but we want to sync uh, with them. Right, makes sense. I mean, it, with the position that you hold in the in the industry and and the the voice that you have there, the influence to to approach things uh, in that way is is important and helpful. So yeah, th I mean, thank you on behalf of the industry in Mexico. Thanks for your work uh, to do that you do there. And, and so, is there anything sort of as we think about oh the next 12 months or so, what should we be watching for from Kyo? Well, in our case, we're going to be, we're going to continue proactively uh, growing very much. The, the, the plan is to continue. Uh, we were acquired uh, uh, one year and five months ago by an investment fund called Iceware Capital. Yeah. So we're working very, very actively. Uh, uh, there we are being in general very aggressive in terms of uh, preparing uh, in general the company uh, to 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 receive and to help uh, lots of customers uh, we're planning to to increase our our footprint our participation in general in Latin market uh, planning to go to several countries uh, so we're looking for a, a, a very nice growth. Um, I think we're standing in, 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 in a very interesting and nice industry that we want to continue to be part of it and uh, to be very proactive. I think and friendly with the, with the, with the ecosystem, with the, with the land, uh, several initiatives from that perspective, continue to grow our digital ecosystem that has been for more than 20 years. We have worked on that, uh, continue the, the neutrality in general terms, uh, in order at the end of the day, it's a benefit that we're offering to our customers. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So for, I mean, the show's, close to wrapping uh, so for and I, I know that you met with a lot of great people over the course of the week but for for those of our our viewers and, and those in the industry who want to connect with you how can they do that how can they find you digitally <laughs> well uh one point of contact very important could be through the the our internet page uh www.kianetworks.com. Okay. They, they can find find us there. Um, uh, we have a a, a, a very strong uh, team ready to 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 receive any any and um, provide any information in that regard. So, but I, I would I would say that directly through the through the internet page, we we yeah. are available to receive any any yeah. any inquiry in general. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming so early to chat with us on the last day. It's been a, been a marathon, a sprint this week, um, both of those things. So thank you. Thank you for your time uh, and your insights. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live, coming to you today from the last day of Data Cloud Global Congress here in beautiful Monaco. Until next time. Thank you.